Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I am a mom of five and this is our first year homeschooling. Today I'm going to be sharing what we are going to be using for my pre k -er. So if you're needing some curriculum ideas for a preschooler, three to five, stick around and I'll show you what I have for my little guy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I have for him this year, but then I'm also gonna talk about a free curriculum that you can find online that I've used in the past for um, him and even my younger daughter than that that I absolutely love. Actually, I will probably end up printing out some things for her while um, I work with the other kids because I love it. So um, I'm gonna be sharing that free one in just a little bit if you stick around, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have for him to start. So. Again, we went ahead and we chose um, the good and the beautiful for him. He has a course book. We went ahead and started with pre-K only because, okay, this is the thing. He's four. He won't be five till December. So technically, he couldn't go to kindergarten in public school, right? He um, meets the prerequisites of this, um, of this class because um, he does know, I forgot what it is, he can count to five, blah, blah, blah. Um, but he doesn't know all of his letters. Like looking at them, he doesn't know his letters and definitely does not know any of his sounds. So I decided that we were definitely going to start with the pre-K course book um, and we could probably fit in the pre-K course and the, pre and the kinder primer um, this year. That way he'll be, whenever he starts kindergarten next year, when he's five, almost six, he will be more of like at an advanced kinder level. So that's kind of just what we've, I've decided to do with him. Um, I'm really excited to sit down and to be able to work with him. Um, being the third one, uh, it's just harder like to sit down and, um, and especially since he has three, two little ones underneath him, he needs a little extra help. So I'm excited to sit down and really um, watch him just like learn this year and um, just soak up all this new information. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, we went ahead and I decided for Good and the Beautiful, we're going to start with the pre-K. I also got him um, the pre-writing book. There are some other things that we're going to be learning, letter writing, but I wanted him to, he really needs like some fine motor skills. He is left-handed actually, so we're, it's like kind of a struggle to get him um, writing straight lines and stuff. So all of this has like all of the pre-writing um, stuff in it and then some letters in the back of the book. Top of The Good and the Beautiful. I do love The Good and the Beautiful because it has both um, like pre-reading and then also some math skills in here as well but mostly well there's both um it's really pretty it's engaging um some writing handwriting and things like that um, so i like that but i really wanted to focus i really wanted to teach him his sounds and things and some different pre-reading skills this year as well so i went ahead and i purchased this a while back um and we only we haven't really used it but it's the learning dynamics um it's the Learning Dynamics, and it's from 4weekstoread.com, and um, it goes through, it has a teacher's manual, and it goes through and teaches them all of the sounds of the letters and then blends, and by the end of the program, they're supposed to be able to read these books. Um, they remind me of like the Bob books, start super simple like consonant vowel consonant words and then it goes into um, consonant blends and different digraphs and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually using these books for my third grader right now who um, needs a little bit of extra help with reading so I actually have the um, the more advanced books pulled out for her right now and put in her bin just for her to practice to build confidence, to build fluency, um, and also like really quick comprehension checks for her. She can read these while I'm working with my preschooler or while I'm even working with uh, my older one who is in sixth grade. So I like how it's all laid out, super simple. This was very affordable too. I think it was maybe $60 for the program. Um, but I can use this, like I still have three kids to teach to read, so um, I feel like it was a really good deal. But um, it goes through all the lessons, like everything you would need to teach your kids to read. 
Um, and then it also comes with a student workbook, which um, they just learn to write the letter and then has like pictures, you know, that um, pictures that start with the letter and whatnot. Um, so it has that. Um, and then it also comes with, like I said, the little books, which I think there's like, let me see really fast, it's uh, 45? Yeah, 45 books, which will come in handy. So we're gonna be using that for him to start working on those pre-reading skills because I'd really like to um, finish this up maybe towards the, towards the end of the year and have him reading by the end of the school year, which would be really, really cool um, because it would just be really, really cool. So we have that. And then also I have um, some different stuff that I have printed out from a pre or a free preschool online, which is um, abcjesuslovesme.com. I've used this curriculum in the past. I've used it whenever this son um, was three. And I also had, um, they have like a curriculum for one year olds all the way up to five year olds. Um, and like it has everything. It has a fine motor skill that week. It has a gross motor skill that week. It has, um, it has you know the letter of the week. It has the shape of the week. So there's math. There's a whole bunch of stuff um, to keep your kids on track. It has like a Bible verse of the week. It has a song of the week. It has a poem. Like I love it. So I think what I'm gonna do is print out. Well, my daughter is almost three. She's two and a half, so I don't know if I should probably print out the two-year-old. Um, I'll probably just start off by printing out like like just random pages from there um, for her, so she has something to color and do while I'm working with school with the other kids. And then I already have a lot of the stuff um, whenever I did the three-year-old um, curriculum with my preschooler. So I went ahead and like pulled out these. I like them because I didn't see that the other programs had this, but it kind of tells you like how to write the letter, like pull down, pull down across, or um, a bat around the tree, around the tree for a bee. It has like a cute little saying for each way to write the, write the letter. I liked that. So I have that in here. I just have like random stuff. This is something I got at Target. Um, like when we first started staying home in March, when I was doing stuff, when I had, um, was doing school with the kids and I needed my four year old something to do. So it's kind of like his pre-writing book that he got from the good and the beautiful. I could, um, I like it because it's, um, dry erase. So I can even give this to my almost three year old and she can be doing this while we work. And then if you... I don't know if they have a lot of stuff anymore, but if there's still some stuff in the Target dollar spot, like pick it up. I got this last year. It's Trace Your Shapes. Um, you could use white white erase or um, dry erase marker on it on the back. So that's kind of what I have planned for my pre-K. I am going to be doing, I do have a preschool um, class that I'm going to be doing with some other preschool aged kids. So um, I, I will probably be doing a lot of this stuff with the other kids in our in our class um, but anyways that's what I have planned for them along with some different unit studies and things like that our first unit study is um, starts in September and that is apples we have a whole lot of fun apple books printed out or not printed out already on our bookshelf over here um, we're gonna dissect an apple learn the parts of an apple learn um, the life cycle of an apple and learn about the apple trees and read um, Johnny Appleseed and all the fun things. So that's what we have planned. He will not be sitting in with any like social studies. Um, if he wants to like see what we do for science, he can, but he's not gonna be required to do that or anything just for fun. Um, but yeah, my goal with him this year is to work on those fine motor skills and to get him to recognize letters and numbers and start learning those pre-reading skills, like the sounds of um, sounds of all of his letters and stuff. So that's what we're starting off, and I really think that the um, what is it called? The Learning Dynamics program is going to be a really good program, and um, I like the Good and the Beautiful too for 
just like some extra practice. So that's what I have planned for my pre K year. Like I said, he will be five in December. So this is, well, it's our pre K year. We'll start True Kinder next year. Um, but I hope that you guys got something out of this video. If you have any questions about anything that I've listed or talked about, um, just leave questions down below and I'll be happy to get back with you guys. And as always, we will share our journey along the way. This is just what we're starting with. I'm sure I will come across many different things to share with you guys as we move forward into um, my first um, preschool at home. So. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel as we go through our journey of our first year at home, homeschooling. And um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you are alerted on when I post any new videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.